In this lecture, I'm going to be showing you how to add an app icon to your app, along with screenshots for the App Store. We will start with the app icon. First open your project in Xcode, and navigate to the image.assets folder. We can view all the different size icons our app needs in order to display our icon across multiple devices. Now, I want you to go ahead and delete them all, as we are going to be adding our own unique app icon. I am going to show you a quick trick on how to automatically generate all the different sized icons with only one app icon image. Here is our unique app icon which we have created at 1024 by 1024 pixels. We then launch the website makeappicon.com and simply drag and drop our app icon into the square. Our icon is then converted into all the required file sizes, and all we have to do is enter our email in to download the files. Once we have downloaded our files, we need to extract them to our resources folder. Then with Xcode open, we are going to add all the different app icon sizes to our project. We can now go ahead and run our project in the simulator, and we will see our new app icon. Looks wonderful. Note, if your icon is not being updated, you may have to clean your project and delete, reinstall it. Now we will create some screenshots for our app. These are very important and will show when our app is in the App Store. To get the base image, just run your app in the simulator. Now if you want to take a screenshot of the simulator, just press Ctrl S on your keyboard and the file will appear on your desktop. You will need to do this on the iPhone 4 inch, iPhone 3.5 inch, and iPad Retina simulators to get all the required different size screenshots. I usually aim for around 4 to 5 screenshots per device, as I think it is very important for converting potential users in the App Store. It is also a good idea to add some graphics or text onto the screenshot to persuade the user to download your app. Remember, a picture is worth a thousand words. Here's an example of some of the screenshots I made for this app. When you're happy with your app, go ahead and launch your app page in iTunes Connect. Click the View Details button and then the Edit button next to Metadata and Uploads. Go ahead and upload all of your screenshots. You may also want to edit your app name, app description, and keywords. To finish, just click the Save button at the bottom of the window. Congratulations, we're very close now. If you made it this far, don't stop. Only one more major lecture to go and you're on your way to becoming a developer. See you in the next lecture.